Good morning, everyone. Happy Lord's Day to you. It is Sunday, April the 18th, and I pray that you are preparing for a wonderful day of worship as you um, spend time with other believers and seek the face of God together. Today, we are continuing in our words of Jesus in our daily devotion and prayer time. And we are in John chapter 8. Um, we started this chapter yesterday, and Jesus is talking to the uh, listeners about their relationship to him, to God, his relationship with God, and how they can benefit from those. Um, he continues this discussion today um, in verse 31. If you recall yesterday, uh, at the end of the, the passage, um, we're told that many who heard him say these things believed in him. So in verse 31, Jesus continues and says, Jesus said to the people who believed in him, you are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. But we are descendants of Abraham, they said. We have never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean you will be set free? Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, everyone who sins is a slave of sin. A slave is not a permanent member of the family, but a son is part of the family forever. So if the son sets you free, you are truly free. Yes, I realize that you are descendants of Abraham, and yet some of you are trying to kill me because there's no room in your hearts for my message. I am telling you what I saw when I was with my father but you are following the advice of your father. Our father is Abraham, they declared. No, Jesus replied, for if you were really children of Abraham, you would follow his example. Instead, you are trying to kill me because I told you the truth, which I heard from God. Abraham never did such a thing. No, you are imitating your real father. Very interesting um, dialogue here between Jesus and these uh, new believers. And I think it gives us a really good uh, idea of um, the transformation that needs to take place in a person's life when they first realize their need for Jesus. Um, you know, the Apostle Paul talks about new believers being uh, babies in Christ and that they, they have to be um, fed with spiritual milk instead of spiritual meat because they're, they, they can't take the hard stuff yet. They have to, they have to um, be nurtured and grow into those things. And, and I think that's what Jesus is doing here. Um, first of all, he tells them something that I think many of us, uh, um, whether it's deliberate or not, I'm not sure, probably not, but um, many of us forget he says, you are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings. Often we're led to believe that all it, all it takes is to say yes to Jesus. Well, that's just the start to say yes to Jesus. The continuation of the process, which is a lifelong process, is to say yes to Jesus every day, to learn what his teachings are and to remain faithful to those, to not just pick and choose the things that we find appealing to not just pick and choose the things that make us comfortable but to take all the teachings of jesus and remain faithful to them and once we do that he says and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free um then these people reply that they're children of abraham they're jews we haven't been slaves to anyone and jesus replies again Jesus takes it spiritual and when they're focused on the material they're talking about being physical slaves physical prisoners and um, Jesus says no you may not have been physical slaves but anyone who sins is a slave to sin and so um, you need to not depend upon yourself but you need to depend upon me. And he uses a comparison that, that a, a slave is not part of the actual family. 
a slave is uh, an indentured servant or or uh, somebody that simply does work that the the master requires, but a son is part of the family. And so Jesus compares the slaves to sin, saying that you really don't want sin to be a part of your life. What you want to be a part of your life is the son. You want Jesus to be a part of your life. And um, they just can't grasp this. Um, they, Jesus says to them, look at the example of Abraham. And we see this in, in uh, Hebrews chapter 11, where, where we're told that uh, Abraham was such a great man of faith that it was counted as righteousness to him um, because, because he simply believed God. And, and this is what Jesus wants, wanted for them, and it's what he wants for us. He wants us to know him, to, to hold on to his teachings, to get to know him better every day, and, and just to, to relinquish control. That's a really good word. Relinquish control. We all love to have control. And what Jesus is saying is, let go of that control. And give it to me. Let me lead and guide your lives. Let me show you the path to be on. You know, often we we um, teach our children and we we want the best for them, and so we tell them, go out and find your place in this world. Go out and find what is your purpose in this world. And and I think often we mislead them. You see, Jesus said to these people their place and their purpose in the world is in him. And for us, it's the same for us, for our children, for our grandchildren, our place in the world is in Jesus and in him alone. Let that be our prayer for today. Let's go to the Lord. Father, we do come to you right now and we thank you for the words of Jesus and help us father to no longer be slaves to sin, but help us to be, uh, part of your family. Help us to seek Jesus each and every day and to turn our lives completely over to him, we pray in his name. Amen. Amen. Well, I trust you'll have a wonderful Sunday. Um, if you do not have a church home and you're looking for a place to worship, I want to invite you to join us at, at West Shore today at 11 o'clock, uh, starting a brand new teaching series called Never Going Back, talking about looking at the future and learning from the past, but never going back going back and moving forward with what God wants for our lives. So um, enjoy, I invite you to join us at 11 o'clock. Uh, the video will be uploaded later today. Um, if you're unable to be with us, you can catch that online here on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel, The Church at West Shore. Um, anyway, until then, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you, may he be gracious to you, and may he give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Have a great day. God bless you.